Okay, correct, and that didn't start yet. Now it is about to go down, if I'm correct. We are doing... Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got... Whew. Ulk, as well as Shine L. Dawes, as well as Dark Monsters 1 and Vtrex. But on the red team, we got DOS Pogorush. Hold up, Pogorush. I think I got that. I'm going to call you DOS, though. As well as Lord Imperius Majin. Yeah, Majin and Die for Us. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And just to make sure. Yeah, I don't think we're doing double. Yeah, I don't think we're doing double matches at the same time. So, uh, game has already started. We are in there. Kill streaks is the modifier. Gain full percent damage bonus on killing blows. Not gonna lie, that does. If you're a man, if you're like Cass or Damon, mm. or Gizmo, to be honest, or Gizmo. But as always, you guys don't need to see me. You need to see this. All right, so we got Sean rolling around as Gizmo. C is the only objective, and where's Red Team? Okay, red team making their way in. Die Force is playing a zero. Lord is Albastardo, ready to smack somebody. They're about to do the fight at C. Albastardo's gonna get his target and go in for Gizmo. Whoo! Correction! Albastardo's gonna get hunted by freaking Makudu. Let me get this overlay out. All right, everyone decides to mount up because the objectives are gone. All right, we got Daphros. He's trying to do what he can at a distance. Granted, blue team's holding on to both objectives. Red team, they got to really, you know, tighten up. That's my usual word in these situations. They just got to tighten up a little bit. Nit decides to pop out. He got a full concert. Nice. However, El Pistardo, Lord Imperius, was very low on health. Gizmo decides to pop out while gold. Oh my god, that is scary. Lord Imperius was, was low on health, but he actually got a one-up, I believe. If I'm correct, yeah, I believe so. However, Red Team still, regardless of their effort, they got pushed very, very heavy. So it is 194 to nothing right now. And so far, blue team, yeah, they're spread out pretty far, man. They're holding it down pretty tight. All right, so the objective is going to hit back at B again. Nope, my bad. We got all three objectives coming up. And this is, okay, DOS was playing as Azriel. Let Gizmo get that, dude. Yeah, I was about to say, let Gizmo get that power up, bro. Yank. Knockdown. There it is. And the fight's about to go down at B. However, Makudo says, you ain't the only one with some strength around here. Makudo comes in, misses his uppercut. Hulk. He gets yanked as well as knocked down, but we got to realize this is Makudu real quick. He's coming for you. He's coming for you, and that's it. Buttercup actually gets that wipe. Gizmo still with the power up, by the way, popping off at a distance. Red team in a hit of some trouble right now. Both. Sorry, all three objectives are up right now. And to be honest, blue team doesn't have to take A, but they're going to put the icing on the cake, I believe. Yeah, so they're going to take all three objectives. And wow, that was so weird. Textures aren't loading in when I switch.
yeah, textures aren't there for a brief second when I switch. Anyway, 411 to 26. If I had to actually say it, yeah. Ult is gonna, yeah, sorry, not Ult, Oak. Oak is gonna get himself a power up, and more than likely they're gonna do the final fight. Not the final, final fight, but you know, just to keep putting that icing on the cake real quick. Gizmo at a distance. Shine L dodge. Damn, nice burn. Let it burn. Red team, not gonna lie, they're doing what they can at A, but oh my god. Shine got completely hammered by Elvis Auto just now. Lord Imperius, however, has to get away. Walks into Nid's concert. I'm pretty sure he's not a fan. Yo, this dude is going in with the shots right now. However, Doss actually went for the yank, and man, he gets the kill off of Elvis Auto. What the hell is going on? I want to know who got those kills, because I heard I heard the kill in my ear, so I think Buttercup did get that. And Die For Us is about to really die. Man, Die For Us was in a hit of some trouble just now. Yeah, if I had to say, in obvious terms, uh, Blue Team is definitely taking this all the way. If I'm right, this is game one for both of these teams going up against each other. Yeah, 506 to 38, and the next objective is uh, C. So both teams have acquired their power-ups, and it's about to go down at C. Sorry for my bad angle. Misses are out. We gotta watch the missiles. Dude, Shen decided to pop ult, and he didn't even care who was near. <laughs> he, he popped ult and didn't give a fuck. Gizmo's got ult. Does a decent amount of damage. However, Lord Imperius gets wiped. So, there's not much that Red Team can do. I mean, there is a bit much that Red Team could do, but in this situation, there's not much. You'd have to go triple OG top tier gameplay. You'd, ha you'd have to switch to Galaxy Brain in order to make this comeback. You'd have to, don't get me wrong, they have C, but they'd have to take... All right, the next round would have to be one objective, and they'd have to hold that for the entirety of that round to even make a, to even get past a hundred. You know. However, the fight's not going to stop there. Who Doss got completely held in that position? There was nothing he could do about that. Yo, both Gizmos are just launching them at each other right now. And red team holds on to B, and ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it. If I'm correct, this was game one. Uh, game one, I wouldn't say was a blowout, but it was a bit of a. Whoop, my bad. <laughs> game one, <laughs> game one wasn't like a huge blowout, but it was a bit of a. You know, it was a super uphill battle for red team. So I don't think it's necessary to say stats. I'm not gonna do that necessarily. As always, this was a nine-minute round. GG's all around. The second match should be ready to start in just a bit. If I'm right, they're just going to queue up. So I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to keep it all together. I'm going to keep it all together. But you guys don't have to see my face as I back out of these stats. And hopefully... Hopefully the next round can be like a... You know, like Power Cell or something like that. All right, and we're back. So, as I promised, we have 
Uh, so I'm not sure. So how we're doing the brackets is we're doing it. it was, but, ah, Jesus Christ. They're doing it based like, you know, team one, team two, team three and everything. But I don't know who's on every single team. So I can just tell you right now that right now these guys that are playing, I think they are. They're not team four. They're not four. They're not four because what's the name is on team four. Uh, forgive me because the bracket doesn't tell you who's on the team. It just says what team it is. And we may have a situation where if for some reason someone just decides to leave or something like that, or they have to leave, we got to make a fill-in. So to update brackets constantly, I can understand how that's a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of a trouble. But regardless, we have a Bleeding Edge tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Enough about me. Let's get back to this. Ladies and gentlemen, we are playing... Power Cell on Hydro Coil, one of my favorite maps, not gonna lie. Uh, really happy that they decided to add, you know, maps that have, like, a lot of gimmick. Maps that have a lot of gimmicks and traps, crazy shit like that. Alright, so the fight is going down, and I couldn't tell you what's going on right now. Die for Us has literally died. He was playing as Makudu, but I have a feeling he's gonna come back in a little bit more stronger, a little bit more wiser. However, Dark Monster, he's swinging his guitar, his guitar. Oh my god. Oak, get someone pinned to the wall. Okay, and red team starting to show their expertise. So we got blue team, they're ready to come back in. Blue team, hold off a little bit. Hold up a little bit. Hold up a little bit. Wait for your teammate. Because granted, both teams can... uh. You know, both teams can, can tell pretty much how this is probably going to go in a way. All right. Oh, now I can see power cells. All right. Three, six, nine, twelve power cells out there. Red team's holding on to three. Blue team's got their six. However, blue team, as I've said with this game before, never give up. You have no idea. Someone on red team can completely get too cocky, lose their power cells. Next thing you know, you got a lead. All right, so we're going to get to someone else. So Die For Us is going to collect his three. Up, oh, he's got a little bit of some trouble. Never mind, he's out. Die For Us was like, fuck that shit. I know, I know what I'm beat, man. Majin, letting them shots fly with the power up, mind you. He's got to get in the range. He's shooting concrete right now. There you go. Dark monster, but he's got to maybe target Vec. Yeah, yeah, he's got to try to target Gizmo real quick. As well as Makuta as well. What's nice is that he's, tar he's doing what he can. He's getting his targets up left, right, left, right. But eventually he's going to go directly for Zero. Because Zero is causing such a hard push up the hill right now. Blue team, very, very low on health. They lost their healer. Okay, so. Right now it is 19 and 0. However, red team's going to make it ooh, a little bit higher than that. They're going to get to like 31, I believe. 29? No, 28. I can't count. Sorry. All right, and we got another fight right here on the stairs. Shan decides to back up and get that power up. Oh, man, this is so dirty right now. Red team is already pretty goddamn strong. They're going to bring the rest of that three in. All right, all right, all right. So let me get over to blue team real quick. Like I said, bro, you never know with Power Cell, which is why it's my favorite game mode. You never know what can happen with Power Cell. The number of times I've seen someone drop like 15 Power Cells. <laughs> Oh, man. Number of times I've seen like 15 to 20 power cells just go flying, man. 
You love to see it though. So we got DOS. Dire for us is coming in with a power up. He's gonna choose the healer as I would too. Nice, nice pin. Ooh, but Jesus, yo, red team was on it. You can't deny it. Red team, red team was on it just now, dude. They totally read that. Did zero die? I think he did, but red team was completely on it just now. So blue team has a chance to turn this around a little bit. If they can steal those power cells, not gonna lie. Dark Monsters, very low on health. However, Oak, very confident in himself. He's got nine power cells, but he ain't scared of nothing. Red team, they're gonna contest. Yeah, game's got a load of self in, but if I had to say, red team, they're probably gonna win, but I still get a little curious on what blue team can actually do to negate that a little bit. Like right there, DOS immediately pops Oak. Someone just lost some power cells. One up on Makudu. Oh my goodness. Oak is holding on to 10 power cells. Diaphorus has three. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Nine to 33. Blue teams, I mean, sorry, red teams holding on to 11. Diaphorus is, yo, blue team got to team up real quick. Blue team got it, because Diaphorus is getting confident. Blue team got a team up. All right, there we go. Blue team had to get uh, power ups. Die for us. Has to go invincible as well as the one up. Die for us. They're going for the Makudu. Dude, Oak has got 10 power cells. Oh, but Die for us gets killed. Oh, man. Die for us was their leading, like their leading way in on getting those power cells. Hmm. Mm, blue team, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, both red team and blue team. This is a good match, actually. And granted, I say most matches are good matches. There are some matches where it's just not fair. And it's just not entertaining. But this is still a good match in terms of how everyone is... You know, the team synergy is what makes a good match, in my opinion. So let's get over back to the blue team. So we got Doss running around his cast with the power up. A little bit out of range. He's trying to go for the healer, but he's got to switch up a little bit. Yo, go for Ulk. Fuck that shit. Gizmo's got power up. I mean, uh, freaking super. Goodness. Blue team is trying. Doss decides to pop alt, but alt goes invincible. Is a ah, invincible? I can't talk. Oh my god! Alt still holding on to his fourteen. Yo, red team has twenty-two power cells, but it's like I said, if blue team takes those power cells, boy. Doss, he's got to get out of there a little bit. So red team is still looking a little strong, but I'm telling you now, all it takes is them to get one little fuck up, and that's it. Ooh, Gizmo, however, on the red team gets wiped. Alk is going to score. He's going to go for the score. I believe so. He's like, this was a good game, but I got to wrap this up. Is anyone going to challenge him? No. I mean, yeah, they tried, but, you know, that's how it is. So, again, no need to necessarily mention scores and stats. This is a friendly professional free tournament. Well, not free tournament, but, you know. Uh, GG's all around. Both teams went in, dude. In terms of like, hmm. It was unfortunate because the game, di the game didn't last the way that I wanted it to. But it was still good to see everyone go in the way that they usually would. And like I said, with the nature of Bleeding Edge, you're going to have... You know, we're going to have some real close games. But we're going to have some games that are just like way left field. Well, this is my right hand. So way right field, you know.
Uh, I think that was, uh, wait, I said that was match two, no, I said that was match one before, I think it's match two. Uh, let me, that was number two, oh, that was the second round, okay, okay, okay.